This is where they're getting fattened and finished, ready for slaughter. Living in your own feces in a cold, damp, concrete shed, how is that high welfare? They're so terrified of a voice, aren't they? See? See, look. Okay, so let's have a look at what's in their food here. Oh my god. Like, it's beyond comprehension. I feel so sorry for them. All right, so here we are in another mother pig prison. Um, we're gonna walk through again and just uh, show you the look on these mother's faces. It smells cleaner than the last one we're in, um, but you know, clean or dirty, they're in prison bars. I mean, they can't turn around. It's farrowing sheds are an abomination of human creation. They're just... Uh, Oh, they're torture chambers, man, and uh, it sickens me. These poor little baby piglets, they look so cute, but... Oh, they are so big. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're so terrified of a voice, aren't they? They're so big they can't even fit in the cages again. They communicate with you, eh? What is this? Some type of antibiotic, eh? It's iron injections. Are you telling me they inject iron? It is. This is an iron injection for piglets. They're supplementing the piglets with iron. And people say, oh, pork's full of iron. They're supplementing the piglets with iron. How's that? So you'd happily eat an iron supplement from a pig. Or just take an iron supplement yourself if you're iron deficient or eat iron rich plant foods. For these little babies, this is where their life begins. But for their mother, they go through a continuous cycle of impregnation, gestation, farrowing, Piglets get taken, they go to fattening sheds. She gets impregnated again, has more piglets. Um, they get taken away again. She gets in, put in this prison again, you know? And then she goes to a gas chamber as well. And it's just this insane animal exploitation facility, isn't it? So I just want everyone to look at this facility, right? Look at this shed. Heat lamps, prisons, cobwebs, rust. How is this a food production facility and not some horrible prison camp? You know what I mean? Like, this is supposed to be British food production. It looks like something out of Auschwitz. It looks like some torture chamber in a horror movie. Like, just take a, take a look around, you know? Suffering. You know, animal exploitation. I don't, I don't know how people can eat out of these places. This here is a uh, needle that they must administer antibiotics or supplements into the animals. Like, why would you take nutrients from the blood of a dead animal when you can get those nutrients from either a supplement yourself or plant foods? It's just insane. Why go through this whole disgusting cycle of torture and suffering and killing so you can take protein iron and b12 from their dead bodies when you can just get protein iron and b12 from either a supplement or plant foods it just it baffles me all of this for what it's because it's not for nutrients is it it's for people's taste pleasure but luckily the uk and around the world we've got amazing vegan alternatives to this madness and it's easy to be vegan these days, there's no excuses, so boycott this madness.
So you can tell by the look in their eyes how much they've been suffering. Like this beautiful mother here, she's got the saddest look in her eyes. And just looking into her eyes just hit me so hard, eh? She's stuck there. She's finding it hard to stand up. She can't turn around. Who knows how often she's been impregnated and had piglets taken away and had to be stuck in this prison. But you can just tell she's doing it really hard. Just they're so expressive in their eyes, like she's suffered a lot and it's okay darling. It's okay sweetie. Do you think she knows that we're here and her friend? I don't know. She just looks broken, doesn't she? Hey, sweetie. Look how broken she is, hey. See? See, look. Next to this bottle of uh, more iron, dead piglets. These piglets, oh my God, they're rotting. Mum's Mum's communicating with me. She can see her piglets from here too. Not sure how they died, but they've been there for a little while. They feel... These could have died at birth or they could have died some other way. But the farmers just kept them up here. Just kept the piglets up here dead in front of the mother you know why don't you clear them out so sad look at these little babies you know it's actually bittersweet seeing these um, piglets already dead at a young age because then they won't have to live through this hell you know they won't have to experience the horrors of a gas chamber live in feces and it's just uh, sometimes it's better off that these animals aren't here where humans can harm them and torture them. And above, above these other babies too, like just, just dumped here. Okay, so let's have a look at what's in their food here. I just wanna... It's got, oh my God, oh my God. They feed them whey powder from a cow. So they feed, feed these pigs whey powder, wheat, soy, um, more grains, oats, um, sugar, milk powder. These pigs are being fed milk from a cow. How crazy is that? Uh, minerals, so then they add a bunch of vitamins to it. Uh, vitamin A, vitamin D3, vitamin E, um, iron. How interesting. I had, had no idea they fed whey powder to pigs, but it doesn't surprise me. All you people who eat pork to get vitamins, they're adding them to their feed. You could just have the supplement yourself instead of causing this disgusting mess. There's whey powder in pig feed. So the pork industry are buying dairy from the dairy industry to support the pork industry. And at the same time, the pork industry are supporting the dairy industry because they don't have to throw out the whey powder then. And there's also milk powder here, so they sell it, you know, to pork producers. So they're both, you know, Working in cahoots, every like these industries are supporting each other. It's insane. I didn't know that, eh? 
And last time I checked, these are pigs, not cows. And last time I checked, you're a human, not a cow, so you shouldn't be doing dairy either. Also, like, essentially, like the pork industry are supporting the cruelties of the dairy industry so that they can be cruel to these pigs. You know what I mean? Like a big circle of cruelty. The babies are just playing in their mother's feces. The mother is defecating on her babies because she has no space. It's what it's like, these poor beings have to live in a toilet, essentially. A prison, a toilet. Like, it's beyond comprehension, I just feel so sorry for them. But instead of feeling sorry, you should take action. So anyone at home who's not vegan, you should be vegan. And if you're vegan, you should be an activist. You need to share videos like this. You need to share their story and you need to convince other people to go vegan as well and help change the world for these animals because this is just morally reprehensible. So as you can see on the side of their bodies, they have uh, sores from um, rubbing up against these bars. Oh. Hey darling. Hello. You can see their bodies are just exhausted from bearing piglets and their teats are really distended and they're just piglet producing machines for human beings. It's really cruel. Hey darling. Want the ear scratch? Look at this little baby. Hello darling. Okay. Hello, beautiful. I think it's uh, getting pretty early in the morning now and it's time to leave, but again, this mother here will stay behind these bars um, until her piglets are taken away and she's used again for piglets and then she'll go to the gas chamber. Look at her face. One of you watching is going to eat her body. Um, Alright. Wow. There's thousands in here, man. 